All right, Mark Beinlich going to set the field for the group. Six laps. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Green flag and we're racing. Turn one, Frank Beldowski off to the early lead, and there he goes. Jumping Joe Darnell, trying to get, whoa, it got close there as the 52 International Harvester and the 17 car. Here comes the 11 car. Mark Beinlich on the hard inside didn't work out too good. Now he's dropped to last. But here comes jumping Joe Darnell now to challenge for the lead. That's a 1952 International Harvester. Wow, I never thought I'd see a race in my life between an International Harvester and a Chevy Camaro. But I'm seeing it right now. Farming equipment, it's a sports car, right? That time it's Beldowski. If the 11 car wins, I won't know who it is. All right, here comes Jumpin' Joe. Joe Darnell coming around. He may have the lead, barely by a bumper. All right, white flag out for this time. It's going to be Beldowski, as the 11 was right there to push with Beldowski. Changed his mind. It's Darnell. It's Beldowski. Who's going to win Rockford Speedway? It's going to be a finish. Who's going to get it? Here comes the horsepower. Jumping Joe gets the win. Holy cow. Jumping Joe Darnell with the win in a 1952 International Harvester. Makes his home out of McChesney Park, Illinois. Sponsored by Haynes Cable Splicing LLC. How many of you were around in 1952? Not too many. All right, make some noise, Rockford Speedway. It's jumping Joe Darnell. Oh, I forgot about it. 